There are a number of ways to copy a map from one project to another in ArcGIS Pro. In this example, we're going to create what Esri calls a map file, but I like to call a mapx file since that's the same name as the file extension. We're then going to take that mapx file and then import that into a separate project. So first, open up your map and then go to your contents pane like I've done here. And then right click on the map and then select save as map file. So we're just going to save this as a local file somewhere on your PC. So I'm going to go to this PC icon here. I'm going to go to my C drive and then go to test map. And I'm going to save it as electric system map. And uh, that's really all there is to it. It might take it a second for it to save that. So I'm going to then switch over now to a brand new project. Uh, this could be an existing one. It could be a new one. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go to the catalog ping, so view, and then catalog. And then up here in the uh, maps folder, I'm going to right click that and then select import. And then again, we're going to go to this PC and then go and try to find that file wherever that was saved at previously. So that was under test map. And then I'm going to find it and then I'll just double click on it. And so if all goes well, then that new map will be imported and if all the layers uh, are available to that map, then you should see the features just like you're seeing here. So you can see the base map. You can see that there's a number of, of uh, layers here. When I click on the contents pane, you can see all these seem to be happy and showing us some data. So if you're at that point, then you're done. You've just uh, moved from one project to another. In some cases, however, uh, you might get something that looks like this. And so we don't have a map. You can see that it's blank. Uh, so we have got the map definition up here, and then we have those same layers, but uh, we have these red exclamation marks. And so when you see that, that means that this map uh, doesn't have access to the underlying data source that is defined by that particular layer. So if you want to change that, you can just go ahead and click on this uh, red exclamation mark, and uh, you'll get the change data source dialog uh, to pop up. And then you have to go and locate um, where that particular layer is at. So in my case, I have an existing geo database to find where I know I have access to that exact same layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to look through my list of options here. And, see, and I can see that I've got this wire layer available to me. So you'll see then that Esri is going to go through the process of trying to correct that layer so that it's now pointing to the right location. So you can see right here it's saying repairing wire. That's the name of this particular layer. And so if it's able to do that, then it's actually going to go through and try to fix these other ones too. So oftentimes it knows that uh, these are basically supposed to be pointing to the same data sources. So you can see that exclamation mark went away in all those cases. And now we've got the, uh, the data being displayed to it. So it's all uh, working correctly at that point, and that really uh, completes the entire process.